Very often in classical music, we come across passages that contain quick succession of scalar or arpeggiated notes. So if we're trying to play that kind of music on the auto harp, we need to have an intuitive knowledge of where all the notes are on the string. So for that, we need some kind of note marker to tell us at a glance where the notes are. So over here, this strip of paper is my note marker. With this strip of paper, I'm able to tell exactly where the notes are on the strings. So such a note marker is very simple and straightforward to make. And in this video, I will show you how to make such a note marker. So for this, we need six different items. We need an A4 sheet of paper. We need a pair of scissors. We need one sharp pencil and a lump of blue tack. And we need some sticky tape, such as masking tape. And we need a disused toothbrush. So once we have those six items, the very first step is that we need to cut out a strip of paper that is the same length as the long side of the A4 piece of paper, and its width needs to be 1.5 centimeters, which is approximately half an inch. So here I have a strip of paper cut out to the correct size, so the length is the same length as the long side of the A4, and the actual width is approximately 1.5 centimeters. So once I have that, I need to feed that underneath the strings, like this. And where it comes out at the other end, at the far side, by the high strings, it needs to come out at the other end by at least one inch. And at the other end, at the bottom strings, it needs to just come out just underneath the logo here, so that it sits directly underneath the line of strumming, which is this line here. So once I have the strip of paper in place, I need to stick it down with some sticky tape. So here I have some masking tape. And once I have the strip of paper securely fastened using th those tapes, I need to take the sharp pencil and I just need to mark a line out for each note that is a white note on the piano so that the actual line sits just behind the actual string that it is representing so that it is directly obstructed from my view by the string. I just need to look at it from a normal angle of view and just mark that line out but that line needs to be directly behind the actual string so that it is hidden from my view and I need to do that for all the white notes on the piano. So at the very top note there, it's the C natural. So I've done that for the C natural. And then the next note after that, it's the B natural. So I'm just making a line that is no more than about five millimeters long, but I'm marking it such that I can't see it because the actual string that it is representing, it's directly obstructing the line that I'm marking. So I'm now doing the A natural, and after that, the G natural, and then the F natural, and then after that the E natural, and then the, the D natural, and then after that the C natural, and as I'm working through each string, coming closer towards the bottom strings, the angle of view, it starts out quite oblique in the high strings, but as I work my way towards the lower strings, it becomes more and more perpendicular. So once I've done all the white notes on the piano, which are all the notes in the scale of C major, I need to remove the strip of paper. And then the next step after that is to write the actual letters of the notes on the piece of paper. As I've done here, the actual letters need to be nice and big and in capital so that they're easy to read at a glance. And as well as that, notice that they are at the same angle as the line and that the actual line itself for each string is at the same level as the middle of each letter so that once we have this paper back beneath the strings, it looks like the string is running through the middle of each letter. So once we've done that, for all the white notes on the piano, then we need to just insert the strip of paper beneath the strings again. Before reinserting the strip of paper back underneath the strings, this is just to show the reverse side of the strip of paper on which I have put blue tack. And the purpose of the blue tack is that once the strip of paper is beneath the strings, I want to firm it down so that it's stuck onto the auto harp itself so that in the middle of playing the, the auto harp the strip of paper doesn't flop or droop onto the strings because if it does then that'll affect the sound quality as well. So at this stage I want to make sure that each line 
needs to be directly obstructed by the string itself that it's representing and I just need to check that as regards each letter it is directly behind a string such that the string runs through the middle of each letter. So I now have the strip of paper in the correct position and I've got each string running across the middle of the letter of that string. So I just need to furb down the paper onto the auto harp so that it's stuck and doesn't droop forward in the middle of playing. And so with this toothbrush I just need to use the end of the toothbrush to just press down the blue tack at the back of the strip of paper. So that is the note marker now all completed on the auto harp and now I can tell at a glance exactly which string is which note and as well as that even though we don't have the black notes marked up I can tell them very easily as well because they are the blank spaces in between the letters for the notes. So that is all for now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do have any comments or feedback, then do leave them down below. Otherwise, in the meantime, until next time, have a nice day.